Hello, what is up everyone? This is the FP Switch here, or also known as Final Phoenix Switch. And here in my first tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect your Wii U Pro Controller to your PC in order to be used whether in your emulators or on Steam or anything else you may want to use it on. Now, with the Nintendo Switch on, a lot of you are probably ditching your Wii U, but you don't want to ditch everything yet where the Wii U Pro Controller can actually be used as an Xbox 360 controller where it can then be used on many of your emulators or Steam games that you may want to play. Which So here I'll be showing you how to do that and also some tips to know when using this controller. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Now, of course, the first thing uh, is what you're going to need. What you're going to need, obviously, is a Windows PC and a Wii U Pro Controller also, with a software you need to install, which I'll give the link here in the description, which is called, which is on Wii and U Pro. The software itself is going to be called Wii and U Soft, which is pretty much a software that uh, works with your Bluetooth and allows you to connect not just your Wii U Pro Controller, but also maybe any other uh, device, any other remotes like Wii remotes and so on. So right here is where you're going to want to download the latest version, 3.1. It's going to be a zip file. Uh, I'm not going to download it since I already have it. But you're going to be downloading then you're going to extract the zip to a folder. And the folder should look like this. You're going to have some of this stuff here as you can see where it's going to have the drivers and everything. And this is going to be the application that you're going to have. Now what I recommend doing, since you're going to have to have this application opened every time you're using your Wii U Pro Controller, whereas if, if you completely close it, it will then stop working with whatever Steam or uh, whatever emulator you are using it with. So I recommend maybe creating a shortcut on the desktop or down here as you can see how I have it. Now once you have that, what you're going to do is open it, as you can see, and then you're going to get this. Now in order to connect it, make sure to have your Bluetooth on as well. Uh, my, as you can see, mine is on. Now what you're going to also do is, as you can see here, I'm going to have my uh, Wii U Pro Controller. And I'm going to be, all you have to do is, all you have to do is connect, uh, type, press the red button. But before you do that, um, you're going to want to press this. And it's going to ask to sync. Now you're going to be clicking the red button once. Then you're going to wait a bit. And then it should show found Nintendo. And then it's going to have some kind of code. Which is going to be your Pro Controller. Then it's going to show up right here as you can see. Now once it shows up. Now you can identify it or properties. You can change the controls. As you can see or however you may want it. When you press this. It's going to activate the rumble from your Pro Controller. Now, once you do that, um, then you're going to press this Xbox symbol, where it's going to show Xbox 360 controller 1 to 4. Technically, what it's saying is that it's able, you're able to connect up to 4 controllers at the same time. Which is, as you can see on the bottom also here, it's also going to say set up and ready to go. Now, you want to, if you only have one, you're going to press controller 1. And then, as you can see here, it shows the light is going to be on player 1 as well. Now what you're going to do is minimize it, and as you can see, you, you can't see on the bottom, uh, which is good, so that way it hides itself, and that way you don't have to worry about having to get in the way whether you're playing the games. And then, now that it's connected, you can then use it however you want with Steam, uh, Freedom Plan, or whatever emulators you may have as well. And to show you an example of my UPU Pro Controller working, um, in order to connect it to your Steam, if you do have one, you want to make sure you want to go to Steam, you want to go to Settings, and then you want to go to, con to Controller, and then General Controller Settings. You're going to get this. Now, the one you want to click is mainly the Xbox Configuration Support. As you can see, once you press that, it's going to automatically detect controllers, and it's going to detect your Wii U Pro Controller, but it's going to say it's Xbox 360 controller. And then you want to move it around to make sure it's working. Um, the interesting thing about it is that if you do have a PS4 controller, 
you can change the color, which is, and the only reason why I have this was because I had somebody who brought one later on, which is why. So that's pretty much how you would do it. And then it's also good if you want to go into like big picture mode. And as you can see, see I can just move it with the thing and then we'll play a game maybe to show an example. Um, we'll play some Sonic Generations. How about that? And there you go, as you see it's working, and I'm using my controller. It's recommended for some of these kind of games that you probably want to use a controller. I mean, who doesn't? And if you're wondering why it's uh, Dark Sonic, that's mainly because I'm using mods right now. Um, if you guys do want me to make a tutorial maybe, I mean there are other videos on people showing you how to uh, use mods for the games like this. Games like this, sorry. Uh, but if you want me to make a video, I will. And, but this is the Dark Sonic I'll do this stage. Yeah, we'll do that. <clears throat> I haven't played in a while, so hopefully you still remember it. Yeah, I remember this joke. It's pretty easy to play, like, uh, oh, But yeah, you guys gotta kinda get the good now. Um, the controller is working perfectly fine, um, no problem, and you won't have to worry about how to lag with it's like wireless and that stuff, so, this is just proof that it actually works and then, I have not played it anymore. This is just gonna be it. Well, actually, oh, let's just go for it. Now, another thing that you need to know of is when you stop using your Wii U Pro controller, you don't want to just shut off your computer or like just turn it off because that won't disconnect it completely and then you're going to have some issues on showing that you, you think your Wii U Pro controller won't work anymore. So the proper way to disconnect it when you're not using it anymore is even though you don't see the tab for the Wii and Usopt, you still want to press it and it's going to say it's already running. Just press OK. And then you want to press this, which is going to detach it. And then, but that's not done yet. Then you want to exit this off. When you go to open your Bluetooth settings, and you're going to see the controller says connected, which is not exactly until software is open. So when you see this, you want to remove the device. And then once you remove the device, then it'll be completely disconnected. And then the light will finally shut off from the pro controller and then every time you go on your computer you want to just do that same process when you turn it on and when you turn it off thank you guys so much for watching this video hopefully this helped you out and if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like and make sure to leave any comments if you do have any questions or you have any trouble uh, uh, with connecting your controller to your PC now, there, it was a solution to connect it to Max, but because of the new updates, it currently isn't working right now, so I don't have a solution for that, but I will try and to look and see um, whether or not there is a way to connect it, maybe in the near future. So, that's about it, and I hope you have a wonderful day.